The backstory of mutants, we have little cameos in the X-Men franchise, Lucas Bishop, who featured in the pretty good days of future past, in the future bits, not the past bits. He's played by Omar Sy, who got big after Intouchable, great film, but Omar gets nothing to do here as Bishop. My main gripe is he's just too small. Bishop is a beast in the comics. My second gripe, where's the mullet man? You could have made the mullet prominent in Hollywood. As someone who lives in Australia, I am exposed to mullets all day long, and if I'm being honest, they're growing on me. He does have the M over his eye, but it looks too much like a scar instead of the tattoo it should be. We see in the movies fractions of his power, he's absorbing energy and using his gun. He doesn't fire out of his hands though, which is a shame. And then these super duper sentinels just overload him with power and make him explode, which is a real bloody shame. Because in the comics, Bishop has been involved in some massive events. His origins from the comic run of Days of Future Past. Growing up in a concentration camp for mutants after humans have enslaved them all, he ends up escaping, joining a kind of future X-Men knockoff called the XSE, and then travelling back in time and joining the actual X-Men. When Xavier's son Legion, him with the insane haircut, goes back in time and kills his dad accidentally instead of Magneto, and sends everyone into the Age of Apocalypse timeline, Bishop was there and because of his own displacement from time, actually aged and remembered what had happened. He helps take down Legion and get the 616 universe back and then it is straight onto Onslaught territory. AKA that period in the comics where Wolverine wore a bandana over half his face like an idiot. Onslaught being a super evil entity that was basically Magneto and Professor X combined, Bishop early on in the saga protected all the X-Men by taking a blast of psionic energy that could have stopped a thousand mutants. Saving the X-Men from their destiny of dying, what a guy. Unfortunately, the good guy persona goes a bit murky when he tries to prevent the hellish future he's from by killing Hope, the mutant messiah that was born after 90% of mutants were depowered. Bishop was convinced that Hope would go on to kill a million humans in the future, which would result in those concentration camps he was born in. So he goes after her, he gets his arm bitten off by Predator X, a monster created to hunt and kill mutants, ends up killing Professor X by mistake, and then while Cable's looking after Hope hopping around time, Bishop chases after them using his new Winter Soldier arm that he stole from Forge to hop through time too. He then teams up with Cable's evil clone Strife to kill her, but all that gets ruined when Bishop betrays Strife, and then Strife betrays Bishop to make Hope his heir slash vessel. Then Apocalypse and X-Force stop Strife, and this all features Bishop having his gun pointed at Hope again and gets stopped from shooting her not once, but twice. He's not great at killing future mass murderers, unlike Phantom X, as we talk about here. But Bishop doesn't give up, god damn he will kill this child, chasing him around time and nearly killing her, but it all ends up with Cable tampering with his arm and stranding him way in the future, lamenting just what was he doing. Ooh, heavy stuff. He does make it back though, and most recently he's been named as Captain Commander of Krakoa, Ooh, because Cyclops had to step down. So yeah, he's done quite a bit, okay? And we need to see some of this on the big screen. I would say Idris Elba as Bishop with a proper mullet. I know he was slimed down, but can we blame it on the multiverse? Or maybe Yahya Abdul-Mateen II? I don't know, I'm not a casting agent. Anyway, let us know your favourite little mutant cameo in the franchise. For now though, I'm Danny Baker, this is Six Degrees, and next up, Blink.